Hi guys, welcome to Always Games TV. I'm Roger Knowles, and today, originally the plan was to do a review on the Season 2 of The Walking Dead, Episode 1, by Telltale Games. However, due to a slight problem, um, I got a promotion code from Telltale to be able to do the review. However, the code didn't work. I got the free trial version of The Walking Dead Season 2, which everyone can get, but the actual code didn't give me the free episode to be able to review. So. Unfortunately, that kind of threw up me plans up in the air for the day. So I was going to be able to do this review, get it out, do a let's play of the episode, and get it all sorted. However, due to that, I was a bit stumped. So, um, I had to come up with another plan, which was to do the uh, Wolf Among Us by Telltale Games, episode one, of course, The Faith. Now I have to admit I was a little bit apprehensive stepping into this scene as I just lit really completed this season one of The Walking Dead about, well, a few days ago actually, So because I was getting ready to do the season two. Um, but when I saw this I didn't know if the actual story would pull me in and whether or not the actual backdrop would be right and knew it was something to do about fairy tales, so I was a bit apprehensive about picking this up. My God was I wrong. It is absolutely fantastic. Right from the moment as you get into it, the graphic style is so much more complex than The Walking Dead. You step into it and literally it's like looking at a graphic novel or a comic, whatever you want to call them. Literally the, the, the detail on the environment, not just on the characters, is absolutely astronomically better and a step up from The Walking Dead Season 1. The Wolf Among Us game is a episodic point-and-click adventure game based on Bill Willingham's comic book series The Fables. The Wolf Among Us is set 30 years before the first issue of The Fables graphic novel, around about the 1980s I think. Our story takes place in Fable Town, which is a section of Manhattan which a group of uh, fairy tale creatures have fled from their, well, realm I guess you could call it, into our world and created, well, Fable Town, and they take a mystical spell called Glamour, which makes them look, well, like us. I, I know I don't look human. Just cut me a break, yeah? I'll get me Glamour first thing in the morning. If you don't take this mystical spell, or Glamour, or whatever you want to call it, you get sent to the farm, which is a form of prison for fairy tale creatures to keep them away from humanity and the rest of the world. You can't keep sneaking off the farm like this. The fresh air and sunshine pitch they sell you on is bullshit. I didn't escape out of the homelands to end up in some prison, okay? But if you are able to get this glamour, you are able to live in Fable Town quite happily, or, well, sort of happy. Try not to give away too much of the story. You play as Bigby Wolf, which is basically the big bad wolf from the fairy tale stories. You remember Red Riding Hood, uh, the Three Little Pigs? Well, you're playing the big bad wolf. Um, you are the detective in Fable Town, which makes sure everybody keeps in order, but also everybody's pretty much scared of you due to your past. Mr. Toad? So all the way through the episode, you're going to have to make choices whether or not to use that old side of yourself, which is anger, the bitter, the dangerous side of the wolf, or maybe possibly show a good side or a, a side of you which is kind and caring. It's entirely up to you, and that's the advantage and the greatness of the Telltale Games. You're not as bad as everyone says you are. You can literally make the choice of ripping a guy's arm off in a fight, or not to bother and just leave him be. The choices compared to The Walking Dead Season 1 in The Wolf Among Us seem so much more diverse and varied and you really do feel like you're heading down your own path rather than a sort of slightly different version of it. I also got to tell you, just because it includes fairy tales, this is not for kids. This has got violence, sex, uh, uh, swearing left, right, and the best character ever, Toad of Toad Hall. He's the best character ever. I don't think I could ever imagine Toad ever swearing so much as he does in this game. It's definitely not for kids. Furry prick job shite. Tell me how to spend my money. 
Giving it a sum up guys, the good parts of this game is how it looks, how it plays out, choices, it'll pull in so much variation of different types of gamers, it doesn't matter if you like first person shooters, strategy games, RPGs, you will enjoy this. Even casual gamers who probably even just play on their mobile phones will enjoy this game. And you're probably thinking, why, why, what makes it so appealing? It's actually quite hard to say. It just covers so much ground and you feel invested within your story and you don't just feel like you're a bystander watching it happen. You feel like you are truly moulding this story to your own appeal or your own direction. Do your job, Sheriff, or we'll find someone who can. You know what? Stop. We'll get on it right away, sir. Okay, the cons and the sections which aren't so good. I can't think of any. I really seriously can't think of any. The bit that actually really does stick in my mind, which is fantastic, is the music. The music is freaking awesome. Literally, from the moment you play it, the intro. Wow. It, the animation, the music, the whole... It's one big package, literally, which is awesomeness. Seriously guys, get this at full price. If you see it on a deal, grab it instantly. Don't even hesitate. If you like The Walking Dead, if you like point and click adventures, if you like any other game, you'll like this. Seriously, pick it up when you can. It is awesome. It's a thumbs up in my books. Well done, Telltale. Can't wait for episode two. And if you could send me a good code for The Walking Dead season two, that'd be awesome. Hope to hear from you soon. Mirror, mirror. If you're able, tell me all about this fable. See? Was that so hard? Yeah, I'm about two seconds away from kicking a hole in you. Next week will be the Always Games TV podcast, episode 14, I believe. Uh, don't forget, if you want to leave us some feedback, leave a comment on Twitter or our Facebook page, or even on the previous video of the YouTube channel from our previous podcast, uh, leave a comment underneath there. Don't forget, you can catch up on our podcast on iTunes as well, if you wish to listen to them on the go. Other than that, guys, I'm Roger Nold. This is Always Games TV. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. You think my job is easy? You try keeping a bunch of fables from killing each other. How do you think this all works? I don't know. How? By being big and being bad. By being big and being bad. Don't say that shit in front of people. It's embarrassing.